Hi everyone, Ditaki here. Game dev has always been my personal passion, and the most used game engine for indie developer is Unity. According to Apple, running Unity on M1 Macs should be 3.5 times faster than previous gen Intel based Mac. Let us see if it can be as good as the advertisement says. Here is my first impression of Unity on M1 MacBook. First of all, the installation process of Unity Editor is the same as the Intel-based one. The version I'm using is version 2019.4.15f1. There is no difficulty and a difference in the installation process. Everything went through perfectly. Unity is also one of the few IDE that supports Metal as their base infrastructure. And I personally use Visual Studio as my external program editor. It runs flawlessly. After editing and programming 6 hours in Unity for a tutorial project, all the tools I need to use in Unity Dev environment has no problem at all. Unity Editor itself has been extremely stable. That really surprised me. I have not experienced my first engine crush yet. Usually when I use my Unity Editor on my other computers, PC or Mac, doesn't matter the platform, I have experienced quite a number of crushes, and for someone who's familiar with Unity, we all know that Unity doesn't have autosave feature. So to have such a stable platform from day one is really a lifesaver. I personally do most of my dev work on 2D games, so I can say from my personal experience is that the overall performance is outstanding. Over, uh, first of all, we still have all the functionality on the Unity Editor. Sprite editing, prefab creation, animation event, visual effect, sound effect, scriptable objects, and importing external packages, etc. All the functionalities are still there. So I haven't found any functionality shortage yet. On top of that, the performance is just amazing. All the processes are noticeably faster, and from loading scene to sprite animation to editing on the run, all of them are faster and smoother compared to the previous gen 13-inch MacBook Pro. And from the project I tested, both 3D games and 2D games will run at a stable 60 frames per second. For game development, one of the most time-consuming tasks is to get your own pro game project from engine to target platform. So I went through the entire process of building project in Unity to successfully deploy the game project onto my own iPhone. So for M1 Max, from building the project inside of Unity to have a complete Xcode readable project folder takes about 1 minute and 24 seconds. Then from Xcode build to successfully running the game on iPhone takes about 58 seconds. The entire process only takes 2 minutes and 22 seconds. This number alone doesn't say much, but let's compare it to last gen 13 inch MacBook Pro. The same project takes about 6 minutes and 47 seconds to complete the publish process. And to be specific, that's 250 for Unity build and 4 minutes for the Xcode build. We literally get about 3 times of a performance jump in this generation compared to the last gen. Overall, Unity on M1 MacBook Air has great improvement in performance and stabilization compared to the last gen. Also, I want to mention Unity announced that version 2020.2 has native support for Apple Silicon. But I didn't transfer my working project onto the newest version because I never had a good user experience on alpha or beta version of Unity. If you are working on something important, I wouldn't recommend you upgrade it as well. Just save yourself from the endless hustle and the crash and beta testing for the Unity. I will wait and see the difference when they release the official version of it, and at that time I will do a comparison again. Alright, that is it for my first impression of the Unity on M1 MacBook. I hope that information helped and thank you so much for watching.